everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a nail studio tour which is located right in my garage. If you're interested to see how we got such a beautiful room within my garage, I will leave a video up above in the eye. Please go check that out if interested. So let's just get right into the tour. All right, so this is me standing right at that door of where my entrance is. We did take out a separate door, as you might have seen in my renovation video. Um, so that's the door and nothing special there. But as soon as you would walk on your left, there is this cabinet right here that my dad actually built for me. And I love it because I was actually looking for a unit like this and I couldn't find it anywhere. On here I have my Christmas tree, which really needs to go away because it is February 1st. But I really wanted to record while I had something there because I don't have anything for that corner yet. But I am going to be taking that down. And then I have some nail art displays right here as well. And I like to update these every once in a while. The first one always stays like that because that is my final project from school. And I'm super proud of it and it's something that I love. So these are just Halloween sets and there was a Christmas set and just some random lines that I do want to do a Valentine's set. But let's see if I ever get around to that. And then this was my final project set for school. So I like to display all my nail art just to, you know, showcase your talents. Now in this cupboard, in this cupboard, in the first section, I do keep all of my extras and all of my overflow items. So I have some nail files and I have the dentist bib things for what I use for every customer. And then I have extras of everything as well as some alcohol and some monomer. I do keep all of my cleaning supplies in my washroom because that's where I clean them. And then down below is all my filming equipment. I do just keep them in here because again, obviously I'm always filming in this room. All right, and in this last cover over here, I keep an extra UV lamp because yes, my lamp has given out on me during a customer. So now I keep an extra all the time. And then under here, so just below here, I have all of my D&D &D regular polishes because they do come in duos and I just use gel. And I didn't want to display them with the boxes because I just didn't have enough room. So I like that they're just in here away from everything. And then on this wall, I decided to put the Chanel little prints. I love Chanel and I just thought that it would be a very nice inspiration to keep um, in my room because I think a Chanel bag is one of my dreams and it's just something that I can look at every single day while I'm here and I have something to look forward to and I know what I'm look working towards and it's just an inspiration and it looks really pretty and it went really well with the pink and the green in my room so I really like that. Alright and I'm just gonna quickly show the roof because I do have some pot um, pothole lights and I think these are amazing because they're really nice bright studio lights in here which obviously is the best lighting um, so yeah I have five of those in this room and it just lights up the room so beautifully and I love it and I'm super sorry if you hear birds chirping I don't know why there's birds in the beginning of February in the middle of winter that's usually never the case, but for some reason they're outside chirping, so sorry if you can hear that. All right, next I have my client chair. It's a beautiful gray chair in fabric, and I love it so much. This is actually from the Bricks. I don't know if the Bricks is anywhere else other than Canada, but if it is, that's where I got it for, from, and it was on sale. I got it for 80 bucks, so I thought that was a steal. And then my table is actually from Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, which I think is also a great deal because I got it for 200 when originally on my suppliers, they're about like six, 700, I believe. So I did get a nice deal on that as well. So a lot, I get a lot of questions about where I got that from and that's exactly where it's from. I'm not too sure if, you know, I can find it online. But always check your Facebook Marketplace. There's some really cool things that people put up there for sale. So I just have that right there. Now I'm just going to get into details of what's on my desk. So a lot of my stuff are from Amazon. And I will let you guys know what's from Amazon. And I will try to link most of the items in the description below. 
Um, but I just have some lotion here and this is just from my suppliers. This is just a massage lotion in Honey Pearl. It smells so divine. I love it. Did all my clients really like it as well. And then I have sanitizer, of course. Then I have my little lamp right here. This is an overhead table lamp and it's super bright. Like I'll show you, it's super bright. Love it. And this is from Amazon and I am in my robe, so sorry if you see my sleeve. <laughs> Um, and then I have my UV lamp, which is also from Amazon, like I was saying, that did give out on me, and I did have a backup, which I was really happy about. And then this is how I set up for my clients. I have this little armrest that is also from Amazon, and you guys have probably seen this in every single person's mail setup. I think these are amazing. Sometimes I do find my customers think it's too high, but it works amazing for me. Um, and for my hands and wrists. And then under here, I have a little liner and under the liner, I keep a towel just for extra comfort. And I just can, you know, take this up. This desk does actually come in with a built-in suction. So you can see like a suction device, which is really handy. So if I'm doing any removals, I will just remove that and turn this on. And you know, that's for all my dust. Like I said, I am set. This is how I set up for every client. So I have all my stuff right here. So I have my little duster brush right here, as well as my nail drill. I use the McCart portable nail drill, and it hasn't actually given up on me ever. Um, you know, knock wood, but I don't have any wood around me. But this is amazing. I really like it, and it's powerful, and it's rechargeable, and it's beautiful, and it goes with my room. And then I always keep this little box right here as well with some nice but properly sterilized tools. So that's where I keep all of those things that I'm going to use in my service. And then the last couple things I like to keep on my desk before getting into this little drawer is I like to keep my brush, of course. And I just ordered this little stand recently off of Amazon and I'm excited I did because I used to just keep this on my desk but it works amazing and super cute and looks really good and then in this corner I have a bottle of alcohol and my nail glue and my monomer it's so busted but I just refilled that little bottle up instead of keeping that big container and also this is a really great tip if you have nail glue honestly just put some like thumbtack underneath and you can always keep it up right which I think is a really really smart idea and it's honestly saved me so much time and like mess so my nail not, my nail glue isn't falling everywhere all right now moving on to this little drawer th that i got from the dollar store that i keep on my table i just keep cuticle oil on top this is just from nsi and then in the first drawer i keep all of the blue liners um i need to refill that up and then in the second drawer, I keep nail art brushes. I have a lot of nail art, br nail art brushes. I feel like when you're a nail tech, you do need them. And then in this bottom drawer, I keep a lot of like nail art stuff. These are actually all surprisingly from the dollar store. And I think they're so pretty. And there's just like a bunch of things that you can do with them. So I have like caviar beads in here. This is not from the dollar store, but the rest are. And yeah, so these are just some nail art stuff that I keep in the bottom drawer and it looks really pretty um, when you see it from the side and a lot of my customers question it so it's just like a nice way to, you know, show them off. Alright, then I have my little garbage can right here. I know it's a little bit dark. Let me see if I can pull it out. But it's an ombre from pink and white and I love it and it goes so well with my room. And then I just have my dust collector bags right underneath my table connected. So I do have a ledge right here along the whole room, which I really love. And over here, I just keep my little paper towels that I use for acrylic. And then I do have a, another dust collector back there. I don't really use that one too often. And I have a little train case box thing right there that keeps some extra things. I do have a lot of wires. I do need to figure out something nicer to do with all of the wires, but it doesn't really bother me because no one sees it. On this side, right under all of this stuff, I have this little thing right here from the dollar store as well. And I'll show you what I carry in these really quickly. So I do keep 
a lot of my top coats and everything that I need on a daily basis. I have like matte coats, like matte top coats and blooming gels and top coats, like I said, my primers and all that good stuff right here. And then in the back, I just have some extra stuff, so extra top coats. And then back over there, I have my extra nail polishes that are my most used gel polishes over back there. I do keep my business cards right here as well, just because I did like to use them in my pictures for a very long time. And those are from Mr. Prince. They're really pretty. Um, I'll actually show you guys what they look like. These are my business cards right here, and I just keep my Instagram name on top because I used to use these in my pictures, but I have recently just stopped. But like I said, these are from Mr. Print, and on the reverse side is all my information. So these are really cute. Love them, and I can't wait till I'm done them so I can rebrand myself, but I have so many of these. So I do keep that in here as well. And then I also keep some more like acrylic brushes and cuticle oils and all that backup stuff in there as well. Alright, so moving on into this first drawer, it's probably one of my most reached into drawers because obviously there's some really necessity or some necessary things in here. So I have my cuticle pushers. I used to use metal cuticle pushers, but you know, sanitizing them and everything got such a, it was just such a hassle. So I decided to go into this wood, like this orange wood stick root and I really like these a lot better and I would recommend that you just use these. They are disposable which is really nice and then I have my buffing block as well which are disposable because I do like to obviously use one thing per client and then I have all of these little dampen dishes in here of course as a nail tech you could never have way too many of those and I have all my drill bits right here then I have scissors right here to cut my tips which I love because it makes it so much easier and I recently got these and they're so beautiful and then here are my nail tips. So I do have my everyday natural tips. And then under here, I do keep some clear tips if anyone wants like glass nails. But I do not use those because they are a little bit more expensive to get from my suppliers. So I end up just getting a lot more of these and I don't use that too much. And then in the second drawer, I keep my gloves. And I have some sculpting stuff right here, stickers right here. I don't actually sculpt nails, but I know how to. And if I ever find that there's like a problematic nail or anything, I would most likely use those. And those came in my NSI acrylic kit, which I also have a video about, which I will leave in the eye above. Um, but I don't really use those. They are like cleansers and stuff like that and purifiers. I don't, again, like I said, I don't use those except the brush cleaner is really good. And then in this bottom drawer, in this bottom one, there's actually literally nothing except like empty train case bags and stuff like that. All right. And then moving on to this side over here. Moving on to this side, I have a little fur mat, which is from Michaels. You guys can find this in like the kids craft section, which I think is amazing. And um, yeah, I keep this just for my pictures. Um, aesthetically pleasing pictures and I also keep a little D, like a ring light for your phone again for pictures and then I have this little notebook right here which is actually from the dollar store but it is a quote from Chanel as you can see I love Chanel so um, I just keep this notebook here and I keep all of my um, expenses and all of my client details in here and then underneath I just have my price list Alright, so moving on into this section right here, the first drawer, this is what it looks like. In this first drawer, I keep all of my nail files. So in here, they are 80 by 80 nail files, which I use on artificial acrylic nails. And then over here, I have 100 grit nail files for when people need to come in for natural nail um, situations. So yeah, and then over here, I do keep all of my nail files that... Um, of, of, for my returning customers because I just found that I was wasting so many nail files and also I do sanitize these and put them back in here and just reuse them for a couple more times and then here I just have a bunch of alcohol pads these are mainly for my um, press on nails but they're still nice and useful in here because sometimes if I'm running low on alcohol I can just go through here and please excuse my nails um, they are my natural nails and I am, I am about to do a valentine set too so keep your eye open for that 
And then over here, I do have some nail files right here. And these I use to season these ones. Um, I also have a measuring tape here, again, because I do also measure for press ones if anyone is interested and then in here i have all my sanding bits and i have like an extra mandrel there in here as well and these i believe are fine grit so about 180 i believe and these are the ones i use and i love them and then in the second one i have all of my acrylics so I used to keep these acrylics up in here, but it just kind of got a little bit too cluttered. So in here is kind of a lot of random things. There's a lot of acrylic stuff, as you can see. So I do have a little box, little things of acrylic. This is the acrylic I use on my clients on a daily basis. So this is the acrylic I use for my clients. This is just the NSI Attraction line, and I just usually use Radiant Pink. I really, really, really enjoy working with this acrylic, and that's usually the line that I work with because it was what I was taught in school. So I love that. It just works amazing, and it lasts a very long time. And here again is some NSI top coats I have uh, in different colors. And then I have a whole bunch of nail glues right here. This is the ones I use from Unic. Again, I get these from my local supply store, so I'm not too sure where else you can get them from, but I love them. I also applied these. I also include these in my press-on kits as well. And as you can see, I have an ugly duckling little powder right there too in Fufu Pink, which I love. And then underneath, again, in that, I do have just very random stuff, so I'm not going to go through there. But let's just get on to the more exciting things, which is this part right here. And I will go through them individually and give you a good overview of what I keep in this. So this is from Michaels. So if you are interested, go get it from Michaels. I think it worked amazing. The reason I got this was because I did want the IKEA Alex drawers for this room as well. But they were sold out because of the whole like lockdown and COVID stuff. So they were locked. I mean, they were sold out. So I just got this and I'm really happy with it. Like I don't really mind. I do have some fallen greenery here, which it really doesn't belong here, and I really need to stick them back up, but it's, I'm so short that I need to get like a ladder put in or something, or like a step stool. Alright, anyways, so in here I have a old candle little thing from Bath & Body Works, and I just keep some cotton pads in here, I just think it looks a lot more cleaner and cuter, and then I also have a little dish with water in it and i use this just for my nail decals uh, like the water slide decals and it's just a little bit easier and then these are all my swatches so i have them all color coordinated i did that while we were in lockdown 2.0 and these are again from my local actually i think some of them are from amazon the swatch sticks and some i just picked up from my local supply store because I needed more. Anyways, so let's get into this. In the first drawer right here, I keep a lot of my overstock items on first. So I have them first hand and really easy, you know, available to me. So I have my masks right here. And yes, they're pink. They match my room. And like I said, I have more of those. Alright, and then I have some of those cuticle sticks as well. And then these are all my cleaned, you know, utensils. Uh, metal utensils. I don't really use a lot of them. So yes, and then I have obviously cleaned and sterilized um, brushes right here as well. All right, in this second drawer, I keep a lot of my nail art supplies. Um, again, like I said, as a nail tech, you're always growing and you're always accumulating things. But so far, I'm really happy with what I have, and I really want to get through these things before I go and buy more things because I feel like I have the basics. So back here, I do have some chrome powders that are like from random places. I My first chrome powders were from Born Pretty, so I have those back there. And then I have black and white spider gel, then some more foils. I have some dried flowers, and I have some stickers right here that I like to use. Um, and then I, of course, have these little metal, what are these, like foiled things and I've gotten and I got these a very very long time ago too before I was even certified so you know just getting some use out of it then I do have some loose glitter in here which is super random but it is what it is in here such essentials like striping tape I love striping tape I love looks with them I also have these silicone little things for my 
foils. They come in handy and I really like them. Then I have one of my favorite recent gels that I've just purchased. It is called Sequence of Events and it's from Light Elegance and it's super beautiful. It has like Mylar flakes in it. Super cute. Then I have some builder gels. Oops. I do have some IBD builder gels over here. I do use these for my rhinestone applications and they work great and they hold up so good and then i have my waddle and then i have my water decals and these are just from amazon and i got all of these in one and they kind of cover everything you need so there are some valentine ones and some really pretty ones in here actually i really like them and then i just have a whole bunch of you know nail art that i've practiced and stuff so i just have these random swatch sticks that i can use to maybe you know show one of my clients to see if they are interested in a certain thing. And this third drawer is one of my favorite ones. This is where I keep all of the bling. So I do have my little picker upper right here. This is from Amazon and I got it in one of the kits. I don't remember which, with what, but I got this little container from the dollar store and it stored you know, everything so beautifully. And then I have a whole bunch of little nail gems in here. They're all different types and shapes and colors, which I love. You know, as a nail tech, you need variety. Then these are my champagne gold ones. And then here I have these little pixie stuff, like the pixie beads. So beautiful. And then I also have these charms, which I've used, which I've shown in a Amazon haul previously. And I love them. They're so beautiful. I haven't used them yet. Then again, just some more gems. And this is the Macar Hooked on Love kit, which I'm super excited to use. This is going to be my next set, which I was talking about. So I will be using that. If you're interested, then just keep an eye out and subscribe so you don't miss that. And then this is my nail art plate that I like to use for nail art. In this next one, again, super exciting. It's really different. So in here I have, this doesn't belong in here, but so beautiful and colorful these are all chrome powders that i've gotten from amazon and they're so beautiful like every single color of chrome you can think of there's some holographic ones in there as well then i have these pigments also from amazon like i was saying i order a lot of stuff from amazon and i also have these loose um little glitters from amazon as well and i have a little makeup brush here because that's what i used for my pigments and then i have a nail foil art set from macar as well and i love those and then in the back again i just have some more practice nails using these things so yeah and this next one i think every nail artist has or every nail tech has or nail artist has tried the this whole like you know chalk pastel thing i really did not like it so i don't think i'm ever going to use this technique again but i do have them in case and i also have a lot of like little containers that i got to put these in but i did try a couple colors out and i hated it so yeah and then in here i have all of these sponge applicators that work from the chrome because each chrome came with their own sponge applicator then i have these gel removable these gem remo I mean, oh my gosh these gel <laughs> removing things right here um you know to soak off your nails and then i have a gel mixer which honestly sometimes is a lifesaver but you can do without it um and then i have some more extra tips right there that are stiletto shaped all right now we're reaching towards the end this is where stuff starts getting a little bit random so in here i have my garbage bags they are from amazon as well and these are really tiny garbage bags that fit in that tiny little garbage bin of mine and then these are for my press ons as well oh and i also have some press on nail tab glue things back there as well and yeah and these i keep all my apre gel x nail extensions again these are the nail tips i use for press ons so using the best i love them and i have a bunch of different shapes and stuff of for them so I have one back there and then I have some from Amazon because short coffin for some reason a prey does not carry them so I had to get them from Amazon. I do have my diploma back there like my certification back there. I haven't gotten around to displaying it yet. Um, and then these this is the other um, nail brush stand that I got so I'm just using the gold one because I really like the silver one and I'm going to keep it for later. And then 
in the last drawer I keep all of my receipts and all of my um, you know inventory stuff over back there and then also some dirty laundry here so I can empty this out and go wash them and start over all right and now as we get to the last bit I really wanted to show this last because this is something I'm super proud of so my dad did make me this shelf right here I'm not too sure what the dimensions are but uh, there is a four inch gap in between that's all I know because that's all I specified for him uh, the rest he made so down here I have all of these Amazon nail colors they're super tiny they actually are so deceiving on camera because they look big I'm actually gonna carry one out and show you they're super 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 tiny um, but they're actually not bad I actually really like them and you got so many of them and then I ordered an additional set in the same brand in grays because I didn't have a lot of grays but now I have so many grays then I have this line this is called where is the candy and you can get this at my local like nail salon or like nail supplier but you don't have to be licensed to buy from there but these are super inexpensive ones but they're so 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 good and pigmented I love these and these are a little bit bigger obviously then the rest are all my professional grades so this is IBD it is a professional line um, but I love this brand this is a brand that I started off when I first started buying gel polishes and I as you can see I've accumulated so many over the course of me doing this so like I have nudes and then I have my coral and reds and purples and grays greens and sparkles and glitters then I have a bunch of Kiara Sky you know a bunch of Kiara Sky ones because these were on sale at my local nail supply store so I tried to pick up as many as I could and those are the ones over there then I have of course a and d I do want to get d into d and I love d and polishes I think it's super pigmented and they perform really well and so many colors to choose from so yeah I'm really happy with my collection and obviously it's always growing but yes this concludes my nail tour I believe um, I'm just going to make an overview. Oh, I do have a random chair right there just in case someone does decide to come with a friend, even though I do not allow any extras. Um, so this is the overview from my desk area. This is what it looks like. I also forgot to mention, I do keep a portable heater in here and I do turn it on about 30 minutes before the appointment because I am again in a garage and it does get pretty cold in here because I am again in Canada, so there's always snow outside during the winter so I do have that that one's just from Walmart and this is the chair that I use this is from Ikea it's just a nice simple black computer chair it moves around one tip I do have if you are doing nails is that keep your chair um, have your chair on wheels and your clients chair not on wheels so they don't move around and get you to like cut them with like your drill or anything but I think that concludes everything in this nail room I hope you guys enjoyed it it's obviously not completely done but it is honestly where I wanted it and I think it's beautiful as it is but like I said you're always adding stuff as a nail tech I might eventually end up adding another shelf because I have so many polishes that I keep buying and I'm running very low on room on this shelving unit so I will probably make my dad eventually buy me another one all right so that concludes my nail room tour if you liked it please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you did see anything that you are interested in in this video or you want me to review anything you saw in this video please let me know and I will be sure to do it um, but I think that concludes it and I'm super super happy with how my room looks so far and I think I'm almost done and I'm super happy there's a few things that I still need like I need a new rug right there and another rug over here maybe but that concludes it again I will see you in the next video bye